the umbrella body of the Fulani Esme in Nigeria. Mieti Allah has described South Westerners as the most primitive and intolerant. In an interview on Chinese television, Sunrise Dili, the spokesman for the group Saleh Hassan, while commenting on the position of Yoruba leaders, of thought on the Western Nigeria Security Network, Operation Codename Amotekun, stated that the tribe are the most primitive and not tolerant of others. It's not a blackmail. Unfortunately, with very strong apology to my Southwest friends, despite the education of the Yoruba people, they still remain the most primitive in terms of political culture. They are not tolerant to opposition. The controversy continues in the move by the six states of the Southwest of Nigeria to create a security office to check the insecurity across the region. Amoteko office, they are one and the same thing. And what we are saying clearly that we, the pastoralists, will not allow an ethnic militia that have clear agenda to stop us from our economic activity, clearly stating that they are going after the Flani pastoralists and we will sit by and allow them. No. We are seeking protection from the government, from this very dangerous monster that they have created. So guys, are you really hear from this man, the way he was talking? He was just saying all manner of things, telling them, calling them all manner of names. Calling them all manner of names. He was even talking about, a, what is this man's name? Fane Kayode, that the Fane Kayode has been saying all manner of things on his page, talking uh, against the, uh, the Fulanese and all of that, that. They are not going to agree to that. They are not going to accept it because they believe that OPC and Amotekun, they are the same and they are just targeting at them. And that is their fears. They are really afraid that they are targeting at them. You can imagine. They say they are seeking protection from the government. That it will not hold. Who are they in the first place? Is it in your, 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 your domain? I don't just get it. I don't just get this attitude. Of course, the Southwest, they have really uh, gotten the message clearer. They've seen the handwriting on the wall even before this man's statement. He's not, he's not alone. The truth of the matter is that this man is not alone. We have a lot of groups of them and they, are, they believe the same thing. Like I said, in one of my videos that 95 percent of them from that northern part of the country they are on the same page they don't want anything and they were even asking him did you really threaten them with their 2023 20, presidency and that was why he said even with their level of education you know they are still primitive and they are not tolerant to opposition you can imagine that the southwest all of a sudden they are not tolerant hmm. there's fire on the mountain honestly Someone says Yorubas are the most tolerant tribe in Nigeria. That's why other tribes can live peacefully and are even more protected in Yoruba land. They can buy land anywhere they like in Yoruba land. The councillors, commissioners and even aspire to be governor in Yoruba land. They are treated equally and sometimes give me preferences in Yoruba land. I listened to him talk rubbish on Channel TV this morning and I think he has, he, he has hidden agenda. If not, why are they afraid of a group set up to protect lives and properties on their own land? Honestly, I don't just get, get it. If you know that the place is not con con uh, conducive for you or is not convenient, then if you know that you are not going to be protected, you go back to your region. I see no reason why it has to be like that. But they are going to be holding on to this constitution. Oh, this and this and that. Yes, uh, well, you have a, a freedom to, to live anywhere, to stay anywhere. The question is that the other tribes who are in their own region, is that how they come out boldly and be and give them orders? Irrespective of, for the fact that everybody has right to stay anywhere in the country. That does not still mean that some people do not still hold some uh, privilege to, you know, where they, where they come from. You cannot come to that place and inherit their land. There is still that boundary. They see that boundary for the fact that you can stay anywhere in this country. They see that boundary. There is a limit at which you can go if you are not from a particular section or, or, or you know, of the country. So these people, they talk with arrogance. With, and we know where the arrogance is coming from. And with all of this attitude, but trust that these guys, they have hidden agenda. They are the ones who have hidden agenda. And someone says, yes, what do you expect from cowhead? Hmm. Of course, you might be right to call them primitive since the Fulani has upgraded from carrying a six to carrying AK-47. It's not surprising all this nepotistic animal that nobody has monopoly to carry weapons legally or otherwise. I have, heard, I have lived in Lagos and Oshun State peacefully for many years and I can testify that Yoruba are very accommodating 
of other tribes it is also shocking that these people we have the audacity to call them primitive but i do but do i blame them his brother is sitting as the head of state without a yx certificate <laughs> hmm our mamu don't do thank you enough is enough blockhead you are killing us you want us to be tolerant this is very very unfortunate god the yorubas have value for lives unlike you who value your cows more than your children for the yorubas not to be primitive and intolerant we should always we should allow barbarians and beasts of no nations to be destroying and ra ravaging our people with impunity why are you the fulanese only the ethnic group complaining about amoteku out of over 200 ethnic groups in the country it shows your motives are evil all other ethnic ethnics are vividly present in the southwest doing their businesses without any harassment whatsoever and they are not complaining about amoteku amoteku has come to stay because we yorubas invest so much in the education and upbringing of our children hence we won't allow anyone who has value for animals more than humans to waste our children and people for no reason yoruba should be tolerant and allow you to collect their lands and do all manner of things to them and their children if that is the definition of tolerance in your dictionary then kindly keep it to yourself and practice it in your region and with your people Someone says, I watched the interview. This man used some words that I believe he didn't know the meaning. He was cut off air by channels after unsuccessful appeals to him by Chamberlain, Kayode, and Ayo. Sorry if I misspelled any name. So, the man said a lot. You can go on channel television and go and watch his interview. You know, you'll, just, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised and be shocked to your bone marrow. The way and manner to which the, this man was talking you know, addressing other people, addressing other tri tribe. He was even talking about it, like I said, he was even making mention of a, he was mentioning Fanny Kayode, that Fanny Kayode, you know, go to his page, he was, it's all about his speech, talking about Fulani, in all manner of manner, in, you know, in the way he deemed fit, that which they themselves do not like. But he himself, you are on the national television, the, the words he was using, that very, very, very witty and very, very strong ways. And they had to cut him off. If you go on channel television, you will see, the way they, they were cautioning him, it was just, it was as if he was, they were pumping the words out of him. And those words were so strong, very, very strong words. He said they are primitive and they are not, they are not tolerant, honestly. It is really laughable. And that is to say, of course, like I said, the Yorubas or the Southwest people, they are, they are hearing all of these things. I could remember when they were forming alliance together. See the way, what they are being paid. You know, the people from the South, East have, they have been complaining. They've been saying, these people are not the people that you need to really be forming alliance with. But see what is happening. We could see during the election time, they were like, oh, this is all of everybody. Say Baba, say Baba. Now, the same people now are coming to tell you all manner of, you know, calling you names. Calling them names. Because you, are, you want to protect yourself. And yet, they are, they are angry about it. Saying that they are being targeted. That they are not going to allow it. They will not allow it. Onto what? I, I hope the Southwest governors they will not they will not fall for 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 this a uh, uh, cheap blackmail. If they fall for it, that is the end. That is the end because these people with the the the, the strength that this particular Mietiala president, the the man at which he was talking, you could see that he knows that there is power somewhere backing him up. There is power somewhere backing him up. On very very bad, honestly. If you ask me, why should they be tolerant of Fulani hates me? Mm, bad behavior. Someone says here because you are. E wow, these foreigners from the Sahel. I don't blame you, but I blame our forefathers that allowed you to settle on our lands. It is not your fault. If you say Yoruba don't have tolerance, let a tribe said that you are. Let a tribe. Said what you are saying in the north and see if they will be the same again tomorrow. So, guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning all of these things. You know, these people they are calling uh, the southwest people, they are calling their names. You heard all about you heard all of that, you know, where the woman was speaking on the video. In that video, what do you have to say to all of these things? Leave your comments below and let's have your take.